Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to play a fun game called Zilch with your family. To play this game, you need at least two people, but you can have as many people as you want. For this game, all you will need are six dice, a pen, a piece of paper to keep score, and a cup of some sorts. This can be any cup, just so that you can shake the dice and have all of them go at once. You will need to write each person's name at the top of the page, and below this you will write their scores. To start the game, you will need one dice, and each person will roll to see who has the highest roll. The person with the highest roll will get to start the game. Once you have decided the order, put all the dice into the cup, and the person who rolled the highest, or who starts the game, will roll the dice and see what they get. This is where scoring comes into play. These are the total points for each different roll. The most common type of roll is to roll either a 1 or a 5. Each 5 counts as 50 points, while each 1 counts as 100 points. As soon as you choose which dice you are keeping, you can either roll again with the remaining dice to broaden your point value, or you can keep it and write down your score. However, you cannot, you cannot write down your score until you have crossed at least the 1,000 point marker. To reach 1,000 points, you can either keep just taking 1s and 5s, and once you max out all your dice, you can roll again all the dice, meaning you can put the dice back in and roll again, or you can get um, exotics. These are the types of exotics. The first type of exotic is three of any kind. So here we have three sixes, therefore you would multiply that number by a hundred, and you would get six hundred. The second type of exotic is three ones. If you get three ones, you multiply that by a thousand, the, the one by a thousand, so you would get a thousand points, and this would allow you to get into the game. A third type of exotic would be three pairs. This would allow you to get 1200 points, and therefore in the game. The next type of exotic is known as a straight. This is if you get a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. If you get a straight, you get 1,500 points, or 1,500. This would also get you into the game. If you get all six dice showing one particular number, take that number, so that in this case four, and multiply it by 1,000, and you would get 4,000 points. However, if you get all ones, this would get you 10,000 points for just this roll because it's extremely rare. However, if you get no uh, fives or ones, and it doesn't get a three of a kind or three pair, this is known as a zilch and you get zero points and have to end your turn. Like I said before, to get into the game, like that you can start accumulating points without risk, you have to get at least a thousand points and put it down on the scoreboard. In order to win the game, you need 10,000 points. However, you can't exactly just go over 10,000 because every other player in the game has one chance to roll over you at the end and potentially take your victory, and you do not have one more roll. Now I will be giving an example of a game to explain what I meant. Let's say I'm the first player in the game. So I roll the dice. Right off the bat, I got a... Oh! I got either a three pair of twos, two ones, or I got an exotic of three pairs. Therefore, it would count for 1,200 points. Because I got 1,200 points, I can either roll again, since I used up all the dice, 
and potentially get a zilch, which would lose my 1200 points. Or I can mark it down on the scoreboard saying that I have 1200. I don't want to take the risk, so I'm just going to mark that down. Once it's my turn again, I will get to roll again. And this time I got two fives and no exotics. Therefore, if I want, I could take both fives, which would give me 100 points, and roll these ones again, or I could only take one five, take the 50, and put this five back in to potentially get a one or even an exotic. So since I'm gonna roll again, I roll again. This time, I got three fives. You can't include this one because I already took this one out of the mix. Since I got three fives, this would give me 500 points. So this 500 plus my five from before, which is 50, that would give me 550 points. And I don't wanna risk just these two uh, dice, so I'm going to put these back in so that someone else may roll, and I'm going to write down my 550. Okay. Okay, let's say I've played the game for a really long time, and now everyone is very close to 10,000, and I'm at 900, 9,900. Uh, 9, if I get 100 more points, that automatically makes me uh, over 10,000, and everyone else, mom, dad, and brother, would all have one chance to roll over me. But I could always choose to keep going with my rolls until I zilch to prevent myself from going over so that I have that chance to beat one of my family members. So let's see what the dice would give us. Let's say this was uh, my turn. Let's see, what did I get? I got two twos. Okay, all I got was a 50. This would put me at 9,950, 9, which would put me at a really good spot to possibly get someone else when they go over. But let's just see if I roll again what I would get. This time, I didn't get any ones or fives nor exotics. Therefore, I zilched, so I lose my 50, and it's the next person's turn. So that was a bad move on my part. So now I'm still at 9,900, 9, and someone else might beat me. So let's, let's do it again. Let's say it's my turn again. Let's see, I got a 100, 100 points, and then I got three threes, therefore that would give me 300. So this would be 400 points. And since I got 400 points, that would put me at 10,300. This is a very good spot, unless everybody else was really close. So, since I'm gonna keep the 10,300, each person would have one round, no matter what point value they're at, to beat me. I hope you all have a great time with your families enjoying this fun game. I know my family really enjoys it. I will include some clips of my own family playing this over Skype, so that we could even play with our grandparents during this quarantine time since we can't meet in person. I hope you enjoy, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below, and I would be happy to respond to them. See you all later. Bye! Let's see, we got... One, two, three, four, five, five, three six. fives. Three fives and a one. And a one. Oh, very exciting. Very exciting. So I'm going to re-roll. Two six. Two six. Oh, nothing. Zilt. Zilt. Okay. Let's see what I get. Whoa. I have. Ooh. Exotic. I have an exotic. I wait. Okay. Wait. You got an exotic first thing. I have a straight. <laughs> and I am. I am not gonna roll again. <laughs> Roll again. Roll. I got a straight and I had to work. See, roll one, again. two, okay, three, four, them. five, Wait, and you need to six. See it. Can you see it? <laughs> Mom, roll again. You messed up the thing. The odds are, what are the odds, Kevin? One in 72. One in 72.
How, how many was, how much was that, 1500? Yes. Thank goodness I got a one and two fives and I will stop. <laughs> so, 1700. 1700. Okay. Melissa's luck is changing. Whose turn? Huh. Kevin's. Are you writing it down? <laughs> you write it down, you keep score. Okay, one and one and then two, two ones and three threes. So. Oh, okay. so five, one, oh he got I a five. got a five. A five. So you can keep going. Five fifty. I got two ones and two fives. That's what. So just take the two ones and 750 roll again. Yeah. I got another one. Eight fifty. Another one, nine fifty. I got a five and another one, and I roll again. Hooray. Whoa! Oh, no. What are you at then? That's eleven hundred. Eleven hundred? He's rolling again? A Whoa! Thousand. He got a thousand! He got three wow. ones! I get 2100 and I'm taking it. But look, he's standing up. <laughs> 2100. 21, I got 1700. Kevin's got 2100. Wow. Oh, this is I don't know. Oh my god. Okay, I got. Roll 